on February the 3rd, 2021, the 78th Golden Globe Awards nominees were announced. It wouldn't be a surprise to say Netflix shows dominated the awards season this year, but one show stood out better than the others. It is everyone's favorite royal drama, The Crown. It secured six nominations in five of the 12 categories set aside for the television series. Now that's quite an accomplishment. In this video, we will see if The Crown deserves all six nominations at the Golden Globes. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. Since season four was announced by Netflix in 2018, passionate fans have shown their excitement over various social platforms. Mainly because the promos promised Diana's introduction, the Princess of Wales, in Prince Charles' life. The impressive viewership of season four on Netflix and the subsequent Golden Globe nominations indicate that. So, let's examine each nominee individually. Number one. Best Television Series Drama, The Crown. Now for this one, we are both in and out. Although there is no doubt that The Crown is a skillfully made gripping piece of TV, season four, however, left us wanting more of what we were offered in the first two seasons. Perhaps as an audience, it's just a marketing failure of the trailers, we suppose. We were promised Diana, but what shined on screen was Margaret Thatcher. To give credit where it's due, this season does seem to have resonated amazingly well with the audience of all generations. Nomination, you ask? Definitely deserving, given the outstanding craftsmanship and attention to detail in every department. Number 2. Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series Drama, Josh O'Connor Nominated earlier in the year in the BAFTA Awards for the same role, 30-year-old Josh O'Connor has been nominated yet again for playing Prince Charles, but this time for the Golden Globes. While season three got us feeling terribly sorry for Prince Charles's circumstances, season four was quite the opposite. His character seems like an insecure, indecisive, and inadequate partner for the people's most loved princess, Diana. Perhaps that's a credit Josh O'Connor should have for skillfully showcasing the flaws of being a human, conflicted, tied up, and trying to juggle individual happiness and the duty towards the country. It wouldn't be wrong to say he deserves this nomination as an acknowledgement of his incredible body of work in The Crown. Number 3. Best Performance by an Actress in a Television Series Drama, Olivia Colman Olivia Colman has had several accolades in her kitty from very early on in her career. Fun fact, she also won the Best Actress Award for The Crown's third season at the Golden Globes last year. So it didn't come as a surprise when she got nominated yet again for portraying the old Queen Elizabeth in the fourth season. But we aren't shocked because nothing compares to what Coleman can do with her character. Very deserving of the nomination and might we say the award itself. Number four, best performance by an actress in a television series drama, Emma Corrin. Emma Corrin plays Diana, the Princess of Wales in the fourth season. In her introductory shot, she plays a mad tree, a beautiful one at that. Diana enjoyed unparalleled popularity globally, as the mass named her the People's Princess, and very rightly so. Today, several years after her death, it seems the magic and mystique of Diana is still alive. Merely the trailer of Diana's introduction had fans waiting eagerly for the fourth season's release. Emma Corrin captures Diana's essence so well that fans have even started seeing a resemblance to Diana herself. That has much to do with a well-researched and well-performed character. She's had quite a task to do. She had to present as a transformation of teenager Diana from a girl into a woman. She excels in a job that is so wonderfully done that we think she not only deserves a nomination, but the award itself. Number five. Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role, 
Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter is such a delight in the series. After what Vanessa Kirby did with young Princess Margaret, we wondered if any more could be done with the character. There was an absolute sincerity in her portrayal of all the pain and disappointment in Margaret's life that it felt so authentic. Carter not only embraced the legacy left by Kirby, but she also kept it shining throughout the end. In one scene where she almost overdosed and is visited by her sister, the Queen, Helena puts in such finesse that you barely think of her as an actor. She becomes Margaret. The series is filled with lots of such instances. Hence, this nomination, truly well-deserved and award-worthy. Number six, best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a series, limited series, or motion picture made for television. Gillian Anderson. Perhaps we saved the best for last. One of the best new offerings of the fourth season was Gillian Anderson playing the Iron Lady herself, Margaret Thatcher. Whenever she is on screen, our eyes don't want to wander off or listen to anyone else. Such is the command in her nuanced performance and voice. She has played Thatcher to a T. The character of Britain's first ever woman prime minister needed some tertiary strength. Perhaps a mix of emotional and behavioral types to almost accurately portray what life would have been like for Thatcher in the office, at home, and the Queen's audience. Gillian shines in all of her scenes. What a star. Definitely deserving of an award, let alone the nominations. Okay, well, that's a wrap for this video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to let us know in the comments section below. For more Crown-related videos, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to receive the first updates.